Wednesday, the guys are going to be digging for our sanitary sewer line. The way I set this up is that all of my fixtures, which is shower, toilet, vanity, and then another vanity, shower, toilet, washing machine, runs down one side of the house. And that was... Uh, the biggest reason I did that was is so that our all of our drains and all of our lines go to a central one. It's a straight shot through the house, and then it goes out to the septic system. The other reason was is that this is the lakeside. We need means of egress to leave to go out. So if this is a bathroom, you'd have to go through a bathroom to get out in case of a fire. So all of the... Um, Bathrooms are on the back side, and then all the means of egress are on the front side. That way I utilize the most amount of moving around in the house in the smallest footprint so I don't have any unused space, which is either a hallway or a knockout or a nook or anything like that. So what we have here is our main drain line is going to run right through there. And so each line is going to be coming in as they get closer like that. And they're going to catch this main drain line. And that's what these guys are now digging. Yeah, or the sleeves that go under each one of these footings that go under that wall back there and this wall right here. Okay, let's so. go over a little bit of the um, basics in the plumbing for the sanitary line. So <clears throat> what we have here is schedule 40. Now schedule 40 means the thickness of the wall of the pipe. I'm going to zoom in here for you, which is the wall thickness of the pipe. And so they have different schedules. They have a schedule 40 and a schedule 80. Uh, 80, I believe, is, is mostly with uh, commercial use. 40 is it's a pretty good standard across the board used for sanitary lines. I think when you get to the bigger pipe that they have a thicker wall to them. So our main line is going to be four inch. Our feeder lines that come in are going to be two inch, which are those pieces here. two of our sanitary sewer line and so I will show you the progress from yesterday so we will start down here at the end as it goes out the house so down here will be the main line that goes through the house the first stop that comes back here will be a floor drain so I walk around here this will be the floor drain that will be in our utility room and then our next stop here that comes over will be the washer and dryer connection. So that will be the washer and dryer next to it will be the toilet. Next to that will be the shower. And next to that will be the vanity. So we'll go over here to the main line. Then it goes up towards where the guys are working now. So all of these right now are just test fitted. They're not glued yet. They're just hooked together so that they can get it all lined out. And then they'll start. They'll come back and start gluing it. So next, let's walk over here. You can see the other sleeve that it goes through there. It's a little bit of a step up here. And then this will be... This line will catch the um, the drain line that will be above. That will be a toilet and a, van or a vanity there. And then there also will be the kitchen over here. So you'll have the sink and the dishwasher. Uh, actually, the dishwasher goes into the sink and then sinks. So it'll come across the ceiling over, and then it'll catch it in this wall. Next to that, that will be the vanity, toilet, shower. 
And so as I was talking about yesterday, the way I designed this is that we have one straight main line and everything feeds into it to make it easier. We are almost done with the plumbing here. Had to make some adjustments when they were coming down here to make sure it lined up. So had to make had to cut a piece, a couple pieces, and redo them. But I don't know if anybody knows plumbing, but plumbing is my nemesis. I don't know what it is. If I have a mental block for it, or it's such a challenge to me. But it seems like I go back to the parts store at least two to three times to get the right pieces or I've put it in slightly wrong and I've glued it and then I have to cut it apart so us having to adjust these a couple of inches here or there not a big deal we went back and did our double and triple check to make sure that our pieces are going to line up in the wall because that's the staircase and we were off just a little bit for the toilet we wanted to make sure that the tank on the toilet did not interfere into the wall so they're going to uh, cut a little bit and uh, put a couple on it and scoot that toilet away from the wall just a, about a few more inches to make sure that the tank doesn't hit the wall or that we don't have to adjust our walls a little bit or fur them out so we're doing it. It's easy right now um, because where we've just started to work on it versus trying to chase it later on and adjust the wall or move it here or there to try to make sure to, to fit it in there. But check the other ones. These are correct. I think we're going to adjust this one here. This is the vanity area. And I think we're going to bring it in about right here so the, as it comes up in this wall our vanity is actually a little bit less than two feet we put two feet in but i'm thinking the front of the vanity might hit about right here and i'd like it to be as close to flush so when you put your drywall on and all the pieces come together that it looks like it's almost like a built-in so uh, we're doing the the fine tuning right at the moment Here's a neat thing about having the ICF forms. We have a two inch pipe uh, that's gonna be coming up for, this will be for the washer and dryer. And so you can do a two inch pipe for say a shower drain. You can do a two inch pipe for a vanity. Um, the nice thing is, is that this is just a smidge over two inches. So when you put this pipe in here, it actually fits inside there and you can cut this out that's the actual concrete right there that they poured and so you can carve this out and uh, set it in the wall and then the neck you know when you put your drywall over it like that then that's where it's hidden and so you can put your elbow you know where it comes up today is day three which means tomorrow we pour the slab so we have some sound just arrived here at the job site so let's go take a peek 